Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My first vlog has actually just gone live. I've just finished editing and posting it and I'm so excited but equally as nervous at the same time. As I mentioned in that vlog, I've wanted to be on this platform for quite some time now but I've just never committed to it. So now that I have, it is a very exciting time. I don't want to keep saying exciting but that's genuinely how I feel and the only word that comes to mind when I'm trying to talk about it. So... I'm trying to think of a different word, but it's nothing's coming to my brain at the moment. In the last 12 months or so, I've definitely grown a passion for content creation, and that's definitely stemmed from my TikTok. I've been posting over there for just over a year now and quickly grew to absolutely love everything about it, from filming to editing to building a community to making new friends. Honestly, I just love everything about it. I do have a couple of things on this week. I do have an appointment at my skincare clinic, which I'm very excited for. I go for monthly facials there, so we're just really working on a few things and a few concerns with my skin at the moment so I have my next appointments on Thursday which I'm really excited for and then I think I'm also going out for dinner and drinks with my best friend on Saturday I'm not sure where we're going yet but that'll be exciting nonetheless but it's currently 7 30 I haven't had dinner yet so I'm about to make that and then I'm also going to watch Survivor and then after that I'll do some skincare and call it a night and for tonight is actually leftover pizza from last night I made one of those Fropro protein pizzas and it was actually really good I'm also going to chop one of these chilies up and put them on top of the pizza as well. I don't know what chilies they are and I don't know how spicy they are, so this could be a mistake, but I love spice, so we're going to risk it. It doesn't look that appetizing because I did burn the top last night, but it was really good, I promise. But the dog also makes me feel very guilty, even though I did just feed her. Okay, we're off to a good start. I've just finished work and I'm actually heading straight to a facial appointment, which I'm really excited for. In 2024, I wanted to go on a little bit of a skincare journey just to treat some areas of concern and then also make sure that the products I was using was appropriate for my skin. So I've started doing monthly facials at a local skincare clinic and so far it's going really well. This will be my third appointment this year and I know your skincare is a journey and it's not a race, but so far I'm really loving the results. I'm also finding that my makeup is laying incredibly over the skincare. I don't know what treatment we're doing today. I kind of just leave it up to Brooke and she decides what will be best and and I definitely trust her opinion she's super lovely and very experienced so I'm excited to bring you guys along back home from my skin appointment which is why my skin is a little bit rare but I thought I would just quickly recap the appointment and run you through what we actually did. started doing or you know, implementing facial appointments this year because I really wanted to treat my pigmentation. That is my biggest concern with my skin at the moment. My entire teenage life and then early 20s I never used skincare so I never used SPF therefore I did a lot of sun damage and have a lot of pigmentation because of that. You could say that's one of my insecurities is my pigmentation and that's also why I barely do like I barely will not wear any makeup because I just don't like how much pigmentation there is. I do have naturally dark under circles. That is because I am Maltese. So there's nothing I can do about that. But the pigmentation around my face, particularly on my cheeks and my forehead, is definitely something that I am treating. Started with some extractions, which was a wonderful. Then we moved into the treatment, which we we did a pure peel today. So this was a more advanced peel, Brooke mentioned. It doesn't have any downtime. There's no dryness. There's no shedding. There's no flaking, which is amazing because I am going back to work tomorrow and I definitely didn't want to walk back into the office feeling like a lizard. My next appointment's in four weeks and again, Brooke mentioned as we continue on with the journey, the more advanced the skin treatments will get. So that's very exciting. And then also because I am using the Lara clinical medical grade skincare from that clinic, then we can also do even more advanced treatments, which is very exciting. Honestly, I think even by July or June, so my birthday, I'm 
so excited to see where my skin is at and the journey that we've gone on and I think it's going to be a good one and I'm excited to bring you guys along. I think I might edit the vlog so I did vlog it for TikTok so I think I'm just going to edit that now. I might also do some editing for this vlog and then probably have some dessert and call it a night. My sister Kieran and my brother Xavier are going to come over here tomorrow night and I don't know if we're going to go out for dinner or make dinner but we're going to have a little family Friday night so of course I'll bring you guys along for that as well. because I am house sitting unlimited with options. So this is what we're working with tonight. I'm just going my black bite shorts and then this shirt from Taylor Swift, which I absolutely love. And this is actually my first time wearing it. So the pub's in for a real treat. got home from dinner a little while ago i had a shower and now i'm just sitting on the lounge eating some skittles procrastinating because i washed my hair now i just can't be bothered to one dry it and two do my nighttime skincare routine i really just want to sit on the lounge and do absolutely nothing so that is what i'm doing Good morning guys it is the next morning i'm just going to quickly do some skincare pack up my stuff and then head home i have some washing to do some errands to run and then also it is quite a nice day so i do want to get outside by the pool for an hour or so and I'm also meant to be going out for dinner and drinks with my best friend tonight as well. So I have a little bit on today and I'm just jumping straight into it. My skin's feeling pretty good after the appointment. My chin is still a little bit red and there is the slightest little bit of flaking. But overall, my skin is doing really well. We're officially off running errands now. The first stop's gonna be the car wash because the outside of my car is honestly disgusting. I don't know what it is about birds, but they will find my car anywhere and everywhere just to poo on it. I can park under cover, in a car park, nowhere near a tree, and I'll still come back to my car with bird poo on it. So that's stop number one. Stop number two is gonna be a sports girl because I am on the hunt for a square buckle belt. I haven't found one that I've absolutely loved yet, but I did see that they have a couple of new ones online. So I just wanna pop into their store and just have a look at them. And then I also need to pick up a new skin tin because I've officially run out of mine. It is half price at Priceline this week, so I'm gonna head there. And then finally, I do need to pick up some protein powder as well because I've officially run out of that too. So just a restock on a few things that I have run out of really, but that's on the agenda. Just got to the car wash and as expected, it is busy, but we are happy to wait today. Thank you. Oh God, love you. I love getting a unicorn, so. <laughs> we are off and racing.
morning guys and happy sunday you would have seen this morning i woke up and chose absolute chaos and decided to get up and go for a run first thing and honestly i'm so glad i did i feel so much better after it i got a good sweat in and just feel so much better after actually moving my body i've done some washing and i made those the protein pancake bowl as you would have seen and it was incredible i didn't have egg whites which you're generally meant to put in it so it was just the pancake mix protein powder and almond milk and then i topped it with chopped chips strawberries and maple syrup and honestly it was so good i definitely see myself getting fixated on that as a breakfast meal um maybe not for work i think i'll stick with i think i'm going to go back to having oats for breakfast this week instead of having yogurt and muesli but i'll see when i go to the shop pretty much my plan is i'm putting my laundry away i need to have a shower wash my hair but i'm also helping my dad put the tv up on the wall and then once i'm finished that i'll be able to go to woolworths get my stuff to do my meal prep for my work breakfast and lunches and then I'll be heading back to the house that I'm house sitting at later this afternoon because I'm there this week as well. So that is my plan. So happy Sunday, guys. I'm just on my way back to the house that I'm house sitting at now. I've just left home, but I'm going to quickly stop at Woolworths because it is on the way just to see if they have these wicked protein puddings that I really wanted to take to work this week. I did grab clothes for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so we'll have to go back home on Wednesday afternoon just to pick up some stuff for Thursday, Friday. And then I'm pretty sure my sister and her partner get back, I think, on Saturday. So from Saturday, then I'll be going back home and my house sitting duties will be over. Honestly, I've been loving just having my own space and being able to do, not that I can't do what I want, but just being but just being able to do whatever I wanted to do. If there's silence, if I want to watch TV, if I want to take the dog for a walk, if I just want to sit in my own company, absolutely love it. So definitely, definitely this year will be the year that I do move out of home. If you didn't know, I am still living at home at the moment. Um, but yeah. This year will be my year to leave the nest, I believe. You need to do some editing for this vlog. I'm a little bit behind, so I think I'm gonna pick up a non-alcoholic bottle of wine at the shops here as well. Get home, have a glass of wine, and do some editing, but that is the day. Amazing, they have so many.
Just made myself a little snack dessert bowl whilst I'm doing some editing. I quickly looked at the back. Please look at this dog. Sleeping on the table. <laughs> Unbelievable.